Masochism and the Self, a Complex Exploration Masochism is a psychological phenomenon that has long fascinated and puzzled both psychologists and philosophers. It is often associated with the experience of deriving pleasure or satisfaction from pain, humiliation, or submission. While masochism may seem inherently destructive or abnormal, it opens a window into the intricate relationship between pain, pleasure, and the self. This video delves into the concept of masochism and how it intertwines with our understanding of the self. Defining Masochism Masochism, derived from the name of the Austrian writer Leopold von Sacher Masoch, who wrote about submissive relationships and the desire for pain and humiliation, can be divided into two primary forms, sexual and psychological. Sexual masochism involves deriving sexual pleasure from physical pain, domination, or submission. This can manifest in various ways, such as bondage, spanking, or role-playing. Psychological masochism, on the other hand, is a more complex and less understood aspect. It encompasses the experience of deriving emotional satisfaction or relief from self-inflicted suffering or enduring suffering imposed by others. This can be non-sexual and often involves emotional or psychological pain. The Paradox of Masochism One of the most perplexing aspects of masochism is the paradox it presents, the idea that an individual can find pleasure in pain or suffering. From a Freudian perspective, this paradox can be explained as a conflict between the pleasure principle and the reality principle. The pleasure principle seeks immediate gratification, while the reality principle recognizes the need to delay gratification for long-term goals. The Role of the Self The concept of the self is central to understanding masochism. It raises questions about self-identity, self-perception, and the relationship between the conscious and unconscious mind. Self-identity Masochists often grapple with questions about their self-identity. They may perceive themselves as submissive, unworthy, or deserving of punishment. The act of enduring pain or humiliation can become a way to reaffirm this self-identity. Self-punishment Psychological masochism involves self-inflicted suffering as a form of punishment. This self-punishment can be rooted in feelings of guilt, shame, or the need for atonement. Escape from self Some individuals turn to masochistic behavior as a means of escaping from the self. By relinquishing control and submitting to another's authority, they can temporarily disconnect from their thoughts and emotions. Conclusion Masochism remains a complex and controversial topic in psychology and philosophy. It forces us to reevaluate our understanding of pleasure, pain, and the self. While it may appear counterintuitive or abnormal, masochism sheds light on the intricate ways in which humans navigate their internal landscapes. It is a reminder that the self is a multifaceted and often enigmatic entity, capable of seeking pleasure in the most unexpected places, even within the realm of pain and suffering. Further research and exploration of masochism can provide valuable insights into the human psyche and the complexity of human desire. <laughs>